Hi and welcome to my review of uh, a ballast watch which I recently purchased. Um, I've been interested in this brand for quite a while because they, their themes are based on Royal Navy submarines which again I'm interested in military type stuff. Um, this is quite a unique watch as well which attracted me to it. The movement on it is something like I've never seen before. Um, let's have a look at the watch. Comes in a lovely wooden box. Um, as a lot of these boutique brands do, they big it all up. So as you can see the watch, it's quite unique, um, not seen many watches like this before. Um, it's an automatic hacking movement, has raised indices at 11, 1, 3, 5 and 7. Um, so the hands go under those, I don't know if you can see that there but then they go over the other indices, which makes it quite an interesting uh, feature. Um, also, as you look at the second hand going around there, currently upside down, the, on the back side of that second hand is actually a silhouette of the ballast logo, but it's the silhouette of a submarine, like a cross section, which is quite nice. Um, the case on this one is made of titanium, which I'll show you there. Let that focus. There you go. To trap to Trafalgar titanium. And the exhibition back is quite stunning. Has a unique rotor on here, which is um, a propeller, again taken from the theme of submarines. Has a canteen style crown. Again, completely different to anything I've seen, um, and I'll get into that very shortly. This has a nice thick leather strap. It's quite a large watch, so I'm not going to put it on, but I've got a kind of medium sized wrist and it fills my wrist, but I love big watches. I've always liked big watches. It won't focus, come on. There you go. I think it just looks so unique. So, the movement. It's a Miyota Japanese movement. It's a good timekeeper. To wind it, obviously it's automatic, so it winds itself as long as you wear it. Or you can turn this, just turn the dial and that's winding up the watch. You can then release the canteen style crown. And we fold that out of the way and you've got two, they're really buttons to be fair. The first one, as you push this one in, the second pusher comes out. So if you push it once, that will you can then turn the bezel. I'll do it. So that turns it. That stopped it actually. So I've pushed it all the way in. And then as you turn the bezel, the time will adjust. And then you push the other pop up and it will start going again. I'll just do that quite randomly. So you can hack this watch, which is nice. You press the first pusher very slightly and you can adjust the date. All the way in, you can adjust the time. Just never seen anything like it before. It's amazing. Um, and then obviously if you want to manually wind it, as I say, you just turn the, turn the bezel round and away it goes. Now the thing that, the other interesting thing about this movement is obviously they've taken an automatic movement from Miyota and they've modified it in the way to make this bezel work with it, which is quite unique. But the other unique feature is, when we look at the back, this propeller style rotor, it's not like a normal rotor which just flips from one side to the other. So normally with an automatic watch you have a kind of semicircle shape and it will flip from one side to the other as you wear it and that keeps the spring, the spring tension to keep the watch ticking. Now this, um, it, I'll see if I can get it to do it, there you go, you, so movement makes this spin quite, quite fast and then that's it, that's winding it up. So it doesn't bob round like a normal bob weight, 
like a normal rotor to keep it. I'll see if I can do it again. There you go. I've never seen a watch like that before. I find it quite astounding. So it's just a really unique watch. It's got a nice detail on the uh, buckle. Although the only downside I will say is that the um, con conning tower on the submarine, the Trafalgar only has one, <laughs> and it, they've put two on that detail, which is, you know, picking hairs, but it's a small detail. Um, nice leather strap. I'm not massively keen on leather, so I may change this to silicon. Um, I'll go through a few little details of the actual stated specification. So as I say, it's Mayota automatic movement, which they've modified, and I think they've just made it so unique, which is why I love it. Um, titanium case is 47 millimeters in diameter, so it's quite a large watch. 14.5 um, millimeters in thickness. Um, you get a lever strap. It's uh, 100 meters water, water resistance, or 10 atoms. Um, they come with a two-year guarantee as well. And yeah, I think it's a, a really nice timepiece. And I very much doubt you're going to see other people wearing something like this. So if you're, if you like quirky, and you like something that's you know, for you or yourself, I think it's a brilliant choice. I hope you enjoyed the review and subscribe and like. Thank you.